a really simple quick when I say quick really quick it's my own seven minute guide to making your own buttercream frosting or icing as they call it as well so again I've got my two helpers here and we're gonna get started right away so I've got in here 250 grams of margarine you can use butter or margarine I'm using margarine today and um, I'm just gonna mix that in so it's nice and soft so it's 250 grams of margarine right so I've got 500 grams of icing sugar and we're going to put that in in batches so as not to get clumps and bits of um, icing through so I'm just going to mix that in this is a really easy and quick icing trust me but it tastes absolutely amazing getting quite thick I've done two batches last batch but before I do that as I said it's getting a bit thick so we're just going to use um, milk now what I have here is not just milk this is what I call orange milk well my secret recipe now I've incorporated orange juice and milk in here just to intensify that flavor and give you that nice subtle orange um, tingle you know which makes it even richer and more special so I'm just going to put a bit of that in just to loosen it a little okay so I've got the last batch of icing sugar going in okay so I'm just going to put in the last bit of orange milk and I'm going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla such a nice rich icing okay so we'll just put that in so I've just put that on glitz for about four minutes and you can see the consistency is getting nice and fluffy I'm just scraping the sides to give it one last whisk together where you can see that's the desired color I am actually going for so I'm just going to do that again. Okay. Icing is ready. We'll just wait for the cake to come out and then we'll just put it on it. Well, as you can see, this is really quick and very easy to make. Yeah. Okay. Cake is nice and cool. So we're just going to do a very quick demo of putting the icing on it. Okay. So I like to start with going a bit heavy on the top and then you just smooth that through. We'll spread to the sides. Okay, and we'll just do a really quick. So just make sure you're quite light on your fingers, and not go too heavily, especially on the sides. What I, what I do is just leave it in one place and then swivel swivel the stand right so what I'm going to do is this is just the basic first layer so I'm going to put this in the freezer just to set a little for a few minutes and then we can put another layer on okay so we're just going to put a thin layer just to smoothen the top and the sides a little bit okay this is a really rough one but it gives you an idea on how to on what icing will complement your carrot cake normally a lot of folks go for cream cheese but that can be a bit dicey to get here so this very basic buttercream with an orange twist would really set off the flavor okay and then you can pipe back this put a bit more designs you can pop some strawberries on anything really this is just a foundation for you to get rolling so I hope you enjoyed this today and we're just gonna have um, put this back in the fridge and we're gonna have our tasting segment so see you soon right so I've put some of the icing and I'm just gonna have a quick taste mmm that is so good seriously not because I made it myself but you can taste the sweetness of the carrot 
the cinnamon, nutmeg, everything is just coming through. It's so flavorful. And the icing, just the orange juice, just gives it a slightly different taste from your regular buttercream icing. It's really good, trust me. And it's so easy for you to reenact and recreate. So make sure you try this recipe and let me know how you get on. I'm just going to tuck in with this this evening. So get baking.